Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So there's a lot of people out here right now that are talking about how the ATF needs to be disbanded. Well, it looks like the federal government would greatly disagree with you. As a matter of fact, they think the exact opposite and came out with HR 8460, which greatly expands the ATF's powers. As a matter of fact, it adds funding to the ATF and it allows them to create with the DOJ a registry from FFLs on firearms owners. So let's talk about what else it does because there's quite a bit here. This video is sponsored by Sightmark. Sightmark was founded in 2007 when a need was recognized for durable, functional, and accurate sights in the AR platform market. Sightmark provides industry-leading scopes, red dot sights, night vision sights, and bore sights for individuals looking to get the most out of their shooting experience. From tactical to hunting use, Sightmark provides high-grade optics for individuals dedicated to improving efficiency and accuracy. I personally reviewed and still use the Sightmark Ultrashot M-Spec Reflex Sight. It's an excellent reflex sight, it offers you a ton of features, does not break the bank, and it's one of the more durable ones that I've tried. So check out Sightmark for all of your optics needs, and again I want to thank Sightmark for sponsoring today's video. Now I think the best place to start here is going to be with the title. There's two different titles. There's a long title and a short title. And to me the short title is the most eye-opening. The long title says to remove obstacles to the ability of law enforcement officers to enforce gun safety laws and for other purposes. Now the short title says ATF Improvement and Modernization Act of 2022 or the AIM Act. Now after reading this bill it's clear that we the people and the federal government have two totally different ideas as to what improvement and modernization looks like for this agency. Looks like the federal government basically just wants to uncuff them, take them off their leash and just let them run unimpeded so they can do whatever it is that they need to do. That's what this bill does for them. Now the way that they wrote it out is somewhat confusing and I don't know why they wrote it this way unless they're trying to maybe make it harder for people to understand exactly what it is they're trying to get away with. But let me go ahead and read it to you because this first one right here is about a registry. Now they used big words, fancy words and lumped them together in a way that could confuse people. But that's all that this basically boils down to a registry. So this is how they wrote it in this bill uh, provides for the elimination of prohibition on consolidation or centralization in the Department of Justice of firearms acquisition and deposition records maintained by federal firearms licensees. So basically what it's saying is it's going to get rid of the prohibition okay, uh, on, on the consolidation or centralization, which basically means the collecting and centralizing of documents that are maintained by FFLs. So all of that information will be gathered, brought into one central location that would then be just a simple searchable database that the ATF could use. Now, another thing this bill does is it gets rid of one of the biggest barriers that most agencies have the money barrier. So it throws even more money at this agency so that they don't have that barrier in place. So you have centralized information, more money being thrown at the ATF, and that's not even the end of it. So obviously one of the biggest components of this bill is information. They want as much information as possible. They want it centralized. They want to be able to search it. They want information. So that brings us to section 10 where it says elimination of prohibition on searching computerized records of federal or FFLs who are out of business. So FFLs have to maintain records for a certain amount of time, right? They now want the ability to go and search the computerized records of FFLs that are out of business and FFLs that might have expired or whatever. They want even more. So every FFL that is currently in business and operating and FFLs that no longer exist. Again, all in a ploy to gather as much information as possible. And with, you know, just about unlimited funds, they can do whatever they want. So as of right now, the agency has to get rid of instant check records within 24 hours. If this bill were to pass, it would basically eliminate that restriction and allow them to keep these records indefinitely. And more than likely, those would end up being searchable as well. Now, section five here has to do with FFLs and denying FFLs licenses. So right now, there's a prohibition on the denial of federal firearms licenses uh, due to lack of business activity, right? So they can't simply deny somebody an FFL because of lack of business activity. This would eliminate that, meaning that if there wasn't much business activity, an FFL could not be issued. So they would, they would deny the issuance of that FFL unless the person applying for that was able to show, I guess, whatever type of or amount of business activity they'd be looking for prior to that application. 
So obviously this bill is a very big deal because it has to do with Americans' personal information, how it's kept, where it's kept, how long it's kept for, who has access to it. It has to do with funding and restrictions and taking restrictions away and limiting all these prohibitions. And I mean, this, this bill is pretty big. This would unleash the ATF. So if you think it's bad now, just wait if this bill passes. And I think that this is a bill that would pass uh, if we don't get a favorable outcome in November. So if the elections don't go the right way and, you know, they keep control of the House and maybe add some seats in the Senate, I think you're going to see this bill brought forward pretty quick, voted on quick, and then it would be signed. So again, this is a really important one and one to pay attention to because that's a lot of information in a searchable database that should not exist. They're not allowed to have something like that, but they're trying to create one through this bill. So I wanted to make you aware of it, H.R. 80. 8460. I've probably said it the opposite way about six times now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.